This is a 1987 Volkswagen Rabbit Cabriolet in white. In the early 1970s, Volkswagen was looking to replace the Beetle, which had its design origins all the way back in the 1930s. Volkswagen had taken control of Auto Union in 1964, and with that, gained access to new platforms and parts that would subsequently be used for Audi and VW cars of the era. For example, Daimler-Benz had spent significant time to develop and adapt a small water-cooled four-cylinder engine. VW took this engine and engineered a gearbox to mount the motor longitudinally to increase packaging efficiency. When the VW Golf Mark I debuted in 1974, it featured this Daimler-derived engine, VW gearbox, and shared many parts with the Audi 80 and VW Passat. VW called it the Golf, which is short for Golfstrom, or Golfstream in German. In the U.S., it is known as the Rabbit because it was small and nimble, while Golf sounded too upscale for the market at the time. The Golf Rabbit Mark I was sold from 1974 to 1983. With the success of the platform, including the debut of the GTI in 1976, Volkswagen wanted to design a compact convertible with safety in mind. First introduced in 1980, the Volkswagen Rabbit Cabriolet had a B-pillar with roll bar integrated. Affectionately known as the basket handle, which significantly increases safety in a rollover. When the Golf Rabbit was updated to Mark II in 1985, the Cabriolet continued in Mark I form, it was sold from 1980 all the way until 1993, with later models only getting small updates like power windows or slightly larger wheels, but the design ethos was the same, a small and nimble car. You can really feel the DNA of the GTI Mark I in this car. It gets up and goes with a revvy little 1.6 and a 5-speed transmission. You can have a total blast. The convertible aspect is amazing. I'm not sure why cars have roofs anymore. This car runs and drives great, has a nice interior, and is ready for some tinkering and a new top.